Well, hello and good evening from Jakarta. I'm Mr. Gary, and in this live stream, we're going to be looking at diphthong and consonant sounds. So, without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. Remember, it, guys, if you want to catch up, this live session will be available for VOD, video on demand. All right. So let's get cracking and we'll have a little look at the chart when I get it opened. And remember we studied monothongs the other day. All right? We studied monothongs and if you remember a monothong is a single vowel sound. All right? So it requires one mouth movement, very straightforward. But tonight we're going to look <laughs> at diphthongs. And diphthongs are a little bit different. They are double mouth movement sounds, so we're going to get straight into it, no messing around, and hopefully we'll get through this one pretty quickly, I think. And uh, if you're joining a little bit late, don't worry, just follow along with the VOD. Uh, put your comments in there if you've got any questions, and we'll have a look at those together, no problem. Uh, I will always try and comment back as soon as I receive notification of a comment. Remember if you're joining and you're new, press the like, subscribe button, all the rest of it, that would be great. And it uh, really helps the channel out to try and grow. Uh, obviously I want to try and get the channel to grow as much as possible. And uh, it is growing nicely. So there we go, I'm going to just double check at this time, make sure that I can see and I can hear what the output of the live stream which is as I say it's always half of the battle so I'm just gonna go in there and check that right now just to make sure everything's good right okay sure sure there's a little bit of echo there so we'll try and get rid of that echo a little bit by just moving into the microphone a little bit that's a bit better, isn't it? Okay, good job. So, we looked at the single vowel sounds. Those are monothongs. Those are these sounds here. And uh, you can catch those on my channel if you've never been here before. Go right ahead and have a look at the other live streams that I've done. And you'll see that I've made a monothong video. Tonight, we're going to look at diphthong videos. Uh, sorry, diphthong sounds. <laughs> diphthong sounds. And those are sounds that require two mouth movements in order to create those sounds. We're using the British English version of this. There is an American version that has one extra sound in it, but we don't need to worry too much about that. So I'll just zoom in over here and then we can move over a little bit here to get a better angle on that. There we go, we can get those out of the way. And we start with e er, e er. Look at the e sound here. Okay, so you've got that long i there, and er, right? Put them together, e er. Example words: year, year, beer, ear, ear. And when you're frightened, you can be filled with fear fear okay so I'm just going to check as well just to make sure that I'm not missing anybody in chat and uh, if you are joining in chat it's nice if you just say hello that's great and after that we have air air notice the jaw here air 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 so the jaw is air, it's really down, er, air, right? A little movement upwards for that er sound, air. Example words, chair, where, and there, there, okay? Now we ha move on down here, oh, now notice this is the O, it's exactly as it sounds in the alphabet. O. So the jaw here begins in the bottom position. Alright, so pull that jaw down a lot and pull the jaw down 
Hello, Palavi. I can see that you're just saying hello in the chat. No, I'm not angry with you at all. I'm glad that you're doing the things that you're doing. You mentioned those in the chat, so well done in the previous session. I've just caught up with those. Um, we're looking now at O sound at Palavi, and for anybody joining, O. So the jaw here is right down at the bottom position. Oh, oh, so you emit the air from your lungs as you're saying, oh, so you start, oh, like that, oh. Example words for this one, we have joke, joke, vote, vote. And O, oh, throw, throw. Okay, I hope you're getting those, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the live stream and learning these little pronunciation symbols. As I said before, the importance of these is that they are in the dictionary and they help you to pronounce the words uh, with a little bit more clarity. Learn these, and I guarantee your English will start improving. We're not learning the symbols too much, we're learning more about the sounds, okay? Uh, then we have the ah, ooh sound, okay? So it's like a ow, 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 ow. This one above is ear, air, ear, air. Ear, air. O, ow. O, ow. So let's look at some example words of ow. Oh, you didn't go there today. Oh, well, not to worry. At least you're here with me. <laughs> um, I'm sure you're enjoying uh, joining me to talk about pronunciation. And just as a recap, we're looking at diphthongs, okay? Diphthongs. So, uh, I, I can't, I'll just zoom out there, so I don't know. D-I-P-H-T-H-O-N-G-S. Diphthongs, right? Ow. Ow. So we have vow. When you get married, you make a vow to your partner. Okay, a vow. Lounge, lounge. Somewhere that you go to to relax and take a break, perhaps before a flight, you have a airport lounge, perhaps. Some people call their front room the lounge, where they relax, watch TV, maybe play games, read a book, or do some other relaxing activity. Okay. Ow. Out. Out. So notice this jaw now comes right down. And I'm going to just try and uh, go over to my app here and just try to uh, make myself a little bit bigger so you can see those movements a little bit more all right ow 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 lounge okay now we've got let's look at those again ow vow lounge out oh joke vote Throw. Ear, 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 beer, ear. Air, chair, air, chair. Where, where, there, there. Excuse me. Now we're moving on to the final row, and these are the ones that uh, 
are the final diphthongs. So let's move on to those. So this one, we can see that there's a E sound and an I, but if we put them together, we have A. A. Example, they. They. A. Just like it is in the normal alphabet for English. They. Then we have A. Bathe. Bathe. After that, A. Way. Way. Okay. Now if we look at this one, we have an A and an I sound. To, but we put those together here in a diphthong situation and we have I. I. All right. This is why vowels are so important, particularly these ones. Because what we're trying to do here is show that we have a two mouth movement sound. Th, th. Tongue between the teeth here. push that air out you'll probably spit in your hand so don't do this in public because of covid it's not a good idea th thigh 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 okay i dice dice and then of course if i own something then it's my I, I, my. Okay, now this is the one that I usually, or I used to do when I had lots and lots of students coming into school. Don't have these days. Um, but if they do something they shouldn't do, I might say, Oi! Oi! O, E, Oi! 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 Alright. So that joy start. That jaw starts at the bottom and then it's E, OI, OI. Alright? And once you do that, then uh, it can be a sound that we use to attract attention. Uh, thanks again. British Council have uh, using their chart for this one. I'll provide links a little bit later in this stream just showing you where you can find the chart. Now we're going to move through this one very quickly and uh, what you need to remember here is some of these are voiced and then some of them are unvoiced. When I say voiced it means there's a vibration in the throat that's happening, okay? That's a vibration in the throat. Now, uh, let's start at the very bottom here maybe I can just try and make that zoom a little bit better for you uh, there we go right so let's try that uh, a bit better there we go right so these are now consonant sounds all right consonant sounds are a little bit different so we have p, 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 pull stop Stop. Apple. Apple. Notice this one's unvoiced. P -p. I'm not doing anything. There's no vibration here. P -p. Then we have f, 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 sorry. F for food, fish. For food and f fish. Then we have pull, stop, apple. Uh, I'll put the chart later on. I'll put a copy of it in the um, in the chat. Okay, just let me get through the stream. And then I'll put a copy in the chat for you later on. I'll show you where to find it. There's a mobile app available, but sometimes you might have to pay for those, all right? Um, I can't do very much about that, unfortunately. I'll try and do something, but you never know. So, p, f, t, p, 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 f, t, t, 
tree. St, st, t, 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 stop. And final, final one in that, the one. T, t, tongue up here. Okay. <laughs> Just behind your teeth. All right. And then flick the tongue down. T, t, t. Want. Want. Now here's a good one. Earth. Earth. Th, 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 thigh. Tongue moves forward now between your teeth. Th, and just blow that air out. Th, if you do that, you'll feel the air coming from the gaps between your teeth, alright? The tongue is blocking it coming out of your mouth and that air is then forced through the gaps in your teeth. And then th throw, throw. So, uh, yes sir, no problem. Now this one th is a little bit similar. They're all very similar, right? You'll notice that they just blend into each other, do these. Ch 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 Teacher, teacher, teacher. So that's the t and the long. If you that that their symbol is producing the sound. All right, I call it a long s <laughs> because it looks like a long s, but it's not. It's not an s at all. It's a h sound. So teacher, teacher. Okay. Ch, ch, chair, and then ch, ch, choice, choice. All right. We make a choice every day. I'm sure we make a choice every day. S now, tongue comes back a little bit here. Just put a little curl on the tongue. S s stop. Sit and fast. Stop, sit and fast are the example words here. Now look here, this symbol and this symbol are the same. So what sound do you think this is? Chat, if you're there, have a guess. What sound do you think this is? Remember I said it's a sound. So you would assume that this is also a right it's got the sh this is called a diagraph when you have two together it's a diagraph okay there i've got a video about diagraphs sh shoe shoe fish fish and remember it's not always going to be um SH like this one we have sure sure all right so like you use that word and perhaps you might hear American speakers use this word to confirm that something's been said like oh can you help me with this yeah sure sure I can okay Shh. now this one is a uh, sound generated with the back of the tongue k, k, k. and you raise the back of the tongue like that k, k. and the back of the tongue is touching the top of your mouth k. so we have example words walk dark and k, cup Notice this one is one that confuses younger learners. The k sound is a K and it can be a C letter, a C word as well. So, uh, you know, it's one, one of those things to watch that's uh, a little bit tricky with English, I think. So let's go over here. Now we're on uh, row two. Let me, if I can just do that better with that zoom, it might be a bit better for us there. Uh, hopefully, let me go. <laughs> ah, just zoom in properly. Thank you so much. Okay. Now this one's just a lip. B. 
So we have p, b. This is a voiced sound now. All right. So this one unvoiced. This one voiced. Bet. Bet. Okay. I um, don't the look. There's. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat here. Palavi quotes uh, says. So tomorrow I'm going for to get a vaccine, a co-vaccine. This vaccine is for 50 to 18 year olds. Uh, I'm 17 year old and very scared about that. Don't be scared. It's a, it's the thing to do. I've been double vaccinated. I've got a booster as well. If it's a booster shot, it might just ache your arm a little bit. But don't worry, after about three or four days, things start recovering and you'll be better protected. Don't worry. I like to provide my viewers some reassurance you will be okay trust me i've had the vi the vaccine i've not had the virus i've had 50 plus tests in the last two years so yeah don't worry about it you'll be fine trust me bet about bean or beer okay b sounds now we go from b to v v uh huh. Top row of your teeth or top two teeth here. Just rest them on your lip. V, v, v. Observer. Observer. Somebody who watches things, right? So you might have an observer in a test, for example, an exam. V, vow. We mentioned that earlier where you make a vow to your partner that you will get married to them for the rest of your life <laughs> v vote o oh, v vote b v d all right d notice these are more voiced these right d door door Food, all right. F -ood. Food. Okay. Now we have th, th, th. Oh, sorry, I missed said there. Said. D. Said. Okay. Uh, just a tip for you, chat. Uh, don't click on any links or anything that's uh, looking like a link in the chat. Okay. If you do, I can't help you. All right. There's a lot of uh, apparently spam going around in YouTube at the moment. So uh, in the chat box. So we'll just try and get those um, things uh, notified to YouTube so that they can take the appropriate action. Okay. Duh. Food. Food. Okay. Duh. T th, d, t th. So move the d. The tongue goes forward to th. They. Th. It's not th. th. Look at this one above. All right. Remember. Th, th. Switch this on. Th, th. They. There. And bathe. Right. Little. Just a little vibration there in your throat should be producing a th sound. Okay, so th there as well. Okay, good job. Now we'll move on to this part over here, the the second half, if you like, row two. Yeah, if I, I, it's been a while since I saw this chart, <laughs> but I like to do pronunciation quite often because. Uh, you know we're quite restricted about pronunciation because of covid and we're wearing a mask and the learners who i teach you know i teach a lot of adults a lot of teenagers as well so uh they can't see the mouth movement that's why i'm doing a lot on youtube lately so we go from th to j j 
we have j joy joy joke joke and the j is on the g all right so that's worth noting a g can pronounce can produce a j sound all right j lounge lounge okay obs this one's a z observer observer little z sound there tongue behind your teeth just z push a little bit of air out and you look at the end of your tongue will start vibrating all right so once you've got that z, z observer noise noise president president Okay, good job. Zh. So this one, z, zh. Push the lips forward a bit. All right. Zh, zh. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite tricky for me to focus a little bit. So I'll just try that there. Zh. Casual. I'm looking at the replay. I look so crazy. <laughs> Casual. Casual. Okay. Measure. Measure. All right. Z. Observer. Measure. Measure. All right. Push those lips forward on that sound. Pleasure. Pleasure. Something that we have uh, when that makes us feel good pleasure. What do you do for your pleasure? Uh, pleasure President pleasure President okay G G G G Green my name G Gary G the color green and g we have girl girl okay good job so i hope you're all keeping up with this one at home uh, like i said it's thanks to the british council it's one of the tools i've used in my teaching career many many times in the past uh, definitely one of the best tools out there to help learners learn this uh, IPA chart definitely 100% no doubt helps learners to uh, better pronounce their English language skills all right or English language uh, vocabulary especially when you're looking at unusual words words you've never seen before perhaps you get a little bit scared all right flick in your dictionary look on Google these days most words have uh, a little speaker symbol you can just click the speaker symbol and once you do that the computer or the website will pronounce the word for you give you an example of how it should be pronounced so just bear that in mind but i think it's better to learn these things as well and then when you see them online it's not unfamiliar to you and i'll give you some examples when i finish these uh, last few words all right so this one just open the mouth let that air come out hot hot head head and heart Excuse me while I take some refreshment. Heart. Okay. <sighs> to mmm. Mmm. Close lips. Just let that air come up. Let a bit of vibration. M. Mmm. Mmm. Money. Mmm. Money. We all like money, don't we? I know you like money. 
I like money. We all need money. <laughs> Baby sheep, we have a lamb. Lamb. Okay. And then, mmm, mmm, my. Mmm, my. Good. Now, this one, mmm, 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 grin. Okay. Mmm. So it's like a little double movement. There's a little bit of tongue at the back, touching the top of the mouth, and then your tongue touches the the behind the tooth. Uh huh. Mmm. Mmm. And then you put your finger here. Mmm. Mmm. Na na na. Mmm. And when you do that, you'll f feel the air coming out of your nose. Okay. Uh, mm, the air is being redirected up through the parts inside your head here and then it's being directed back out through your nose mmm mmm no grin nose mmm nurse good I'm glad you're getting that everyone so there we go we'll move over here to the right hand side now Mm, and then mmm okay so this one you need to put more emphasis on the back of the tongue okay this one here mmm 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 sing sing ing mmm English okay and then mmm drank so that could be a little bit of a different one there as well. I'm just checking you can see that. Drank. Hopefully you can. <coughs> mm to r. R. Okay. Rule. Rule. Okay. Uh, r. Rin. Grin. Grin. R. R tree okay tree and then l all listen carefully now all pull pull all love so look here I'm just gonna just try and re Resume that so you guys can see that a little bit with a bit more clarity because it's uh, yeah there we go all okay all all tongue to the top all 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 la 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 little flick of the tongue la all all love rule rule love rule w w want want w w way way and w where where now this one be careful because the look at the symbol it can be j all right uh yeah yeah all right and this is the one i use as the typical example yeah yeah so if you think about the letter y in this word it's actually pronouncing that j symbol there like that j symbol and it's yeah yellow yellow after yellow we have yeah yes Yes. And then we have yeah. 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 All right. Good job, everyone. So we'll just uh, stop that screen share for the time being. And then uh, we'll zoom out a little bit. And I'll probably give you a little bit of a little bit of a quiz if you if you want to have a little bit of a quiz. I think a few people in here are asking me 
Uh, yes, we have a question from Palavi, so I'm going to try and answer that. It says, Sir, there was a test in my tuition and I gave the test, but I didn't give the test papers to the teacher, and again, the test of history is going to happen that time. I will give a good test. Well, I think it's always important that you try your best in the test, okay? And try to think... Um, I, I, when I speak to my learners, I have to sit them down because they get very excited, they get very nervous, that some get very worried, and I say to them like this, look, you know this stuff, all right? We've been teaching and talking about it um, for a long time, all right? And quite often, if you read the question, and then if it's a multiple t choice question, uh, test paper, as so many of them are these days, uh, it's self-explanatory, all right? What you do is you read the question, read the answers, and then read the question again, okay? Quite often they follow on. All right, so you might find, let's say, example, question five. And you read the question, you read the options, and you don't know. But then if you read question six, the answer to question five might be in question six. So that's one thing to watch out for, all right, when you do these tests. And uh, you need to try to be very careful careful take your time that's number one take your time doing tests answer the questions that you definitely know the answers to the ones that you don't leave them once you've once you've done the questions that you're very confident with uh, answering then you can go back and spend time on those questions that you're not sure of all right because what they'll do is they'll give you a bit like my quizzes all right when I've done the quizzes in the past as you know um, you know they might have two options that are very similar a classic example would be something like you know a word with an apostrophe and a word without the apostrophe and you don't know what that apostrophe is doing, what the action of that apostrophe is. So it gets a little bit confusing, all right? So I think the thing to do is just, you know, take your time. Don't rush. And read those questions carefully. Read the answer, answers to those questions carefully. And once you've got that then you're going to be much more likely to uh, get the correct answer All right. so don't you know when people do tests as well I often find that people get a bit nervous a bit scared you know fear of failure is a huge problem well we don't learn through having 100% in every test all of the time you know anybody who's done that well done to them but most people for the vast majority people make mistakes and those mistakes when we talk about mistakes we always say that you and I we learn from our mistakes so we do something then we find out we've done it wrong okay then when we see that same thing again in the future well we can ask ourselves and we say well aha I've seen that before or I've done that before and you know I won't do that again and once you say that it means you've learned from your mistake that whatever that situation is that you didn't do well on all right or should have done better on then you can sit there and think ah I've seen this situation before and I did this
but that wasn't the best way to do it so I'll do it this way because that's what I should have done all right and that's kind of regret isn't it we kind of learn from our regrets we learn from our past misdemeanors or uh, we learn from our past errors and mistakes okay now look Pallavi I'll put this into if you're still there I don't know if you're there because the counters off at the moment um, let's have a look uh, I'll put something into chat for you now alright let me just go and find the chat window just give me a second oh some co lots of comments there yes that's a good point <laughs> she says um, when I uh, sir you know when I do tests I forget the answers and that's nerves you haven't forgotten the answers right you're so nervous perhaps you're under pressure because you want to get a very good score okay and you sit there and you start looking at stuff and you think, oh my god and then panic sets in and once panic sets in it's going to be very difficult for you to control that panic all right sit down at the table take a big deep breath hold that breath all right for as long as you possibly can you might need to take a few deep breaths all right close your eyes and just think of nothing and try and remove those doubts from your mind you know this stuff all right that's what your teacher uh, has been helping you with over the years over the months over the weeks make sure that you can uh, get your mind in a right state before you start attempting answering any questions okay and if you get it horribly horribly wrong which you won't Pallavi all right you won't get it horribly horribly wrong then there's always another chance and try not to panic remove that panic from your mind okay you've got to try and uh, put yourself in the position that you know I'm here to do another test I'm going to succeed at this test and there won't be any problems all right just read those questions carefully read the answers carefully all right the, the, if it's multiple choice now if it's written again just try your best do what the teacher has asked you to do think back to those lessons all right you won't have forgotten those things you have to just dig a little deeper in your mind think to what happened last week the week before the week before that okay how far back can you remember what uh, what was the what was the lesson about did you get involved in the lesson all right now a lot of my learners I try to get them involved okay I get them writing on the board they're writing in each other's books whatever all right have a bit of fun learning I think le having fun while learning is um, <laughs> I'm just reading your chat having fun while learning is is extremely important all right you, you know try to enjoy your time doing what you're doing whether it's at college or you know the final years of high school try and enjoy those times because once they've gone you'll never get them back once they've gone you'll never get them back and it says yes sir she says yes sir thank you for the advice well I hope I hope you take away something from um, from today all right so take a little bit of something away from um, from this live stream okay and take your time there's no rush 
D- uh, don't rush. And then she says, "Our teacher is very scary." And you know something? I always tell my my students this little story. And uh, when I was grade nine, so I was about fourteen, something like that. I can't, you know, I can't remember. I said to uh, it, maths got very very difficult for me. All right. Oh no. Am I still here? I might have been disconnected. What's going on? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. <coughs> so, anyway, it got to a point where uh, you know, my friends and I, we we literally got to. I think we'd we'd hit our peak at the time of maths. And I I over the year that particular year, I grew to absolutely despise maths. Despise means I really hated it. And the story goes that you know it got so bad. The, the school started phoning my, my parents. <laughs> okay, they start. It was so bad. So then, uh, they, the maths teacher started doing some business with with my father. Started, you know, talking with my father. Anyway, he said, "Why don't you come to the house and you, can you d- help him with some private tuition?" And when I found out, I was I said to my dad, Dad, like, you're wasting your time. It's like and it's like, why? And I said, Well, she hates me and I hate her. And I find her terribly frightening, scary. She shouts in the class. If I don't know the answer, she just shouts at me, What don't you understand? <laughs> to which the answer was all of it, miss. You know, well, when I said that, she lost She lost it. She went mad. She went crazy. Anyway, it, I mean, the relationship in maths, uh, it got so bad. And, I mean, this had gone on for months and months and months. And I, I was about 15 at the time. I was a little bit rebellious. And I thought, you know what? I don't, I don't care about maths. Why, why am I learning algebra? Why am I learning... Pythagoras theorem I'm never going to need these things in my life so my friends and I I mean I was running a business in the school anyway and I was earning money so I thought well I, I, you know I don't care as long as I know how to make money who cares so uh, maths was just after lunch time period so uh, my lunch suddenly got extended and I suddenly stopped going to maths class and it was every day, every day of the week. I mean, this verbal assault is what I call it. Uh, it really terrified me of maths, and I hated it. Absolutely hated it. But it, when I look back at my life, I think it wasn't the subject that I hated. In fact, I loved it because uh, I think back to my younger years, you know, and I always think, you know, when I'm at my years as a primary student and then I went into secondary school I was very good at maths you know all right I wasn't top of the class but I wasn't far off and um, there were people worse than me so I ended up that was it I sk- I, I started skipping math class you know I'd find any excuse not to go to a math class and uh, I ended up getting a terrible Mark on my maths uh, GCSE. I hated it. And, uh, you know, my parents were very upset. And I said, look, it's like this. If you don't get on with somebody or uh, or somebody scares you or frightens you, you're, you're not going to be invested in, in the subject. So that's point number one. Point number two. In your life, especially nowadays there's no excuse because oh there is an excuse but there's no reason that you know when you graduate school 
if you don't do well in a subject, don't panic. It's not the end of the world, right? There are countless online courses you can do. Uh, you know, they're all accredited. Um, people's styles of learning are changing dramatically because of COVID. Okay. So you could go to school, do absolutely terrible at school, and then you could spend a year online on yourself, get yourself a schedule, get yourself a routine, get studying, and you'll do a lot better. Why? Because you're at home, you don't have any interruptions, just get on and study. The, the next thing I'd like to say a little bit about maths. <laughs> My father saw the maths teacher in the supermarket a few days, uh, a few, a few weeks ago, and she said, "Oh, you know, how are you doing?" And "Oh, how's Gary? Is he well?" <laughs> to which my dad said, "Oh, he's he's doing great. He's married. He's got a child on the way, and you know, he's oh, where, and where does he live? <laughs> yeah, he lives in Indonesia. Oh, oh my goodness, what does he do out there?" To which my dad said. You'll never get if I tell you what he's doing out there. Um, you know, I prepare. I'm going to prepare an ambulance for you. He's teaching English, and he said she, the look of on her face, and she nearly dropped to the floor and died because she couldn't believe how you know this terrible student who caused who who despised her. Who she despised. I mean, she despised. I think she despised me. She just shouted if I didn't understand something. Shouted, screamed, bawled, yelled, whatever. You know, it, it was a crazy time growing up in the UK back then. And um, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. How could he? How could he be doing such a job? What? Oh my goodness me! You know. The stunning surprise and shock from that maths teacher. I would love to have been a fly on the wall to see her face. But you know, Pallavi, and uh, for anybody else who's watching, uh, about six, five, four or five years ago, I, I returned home and I was at home for about six months in the UK. And um, I found details of this mathematics course for adults. To which I went and I ended up scoring the highest in the class I was there for I don't know probably about six months uh, once a week for six months and the teacher said you know how did you manage to get such a poor grade when you were a teenager I said miss you know it wasn't that I hated the subject it was that the teacher just she just terrified me and instead of explaining stuff I think I required a little bit more personal attention perhaps uh, perhaps I was just too scared too I don't know bored um, and I think sometimes people don't see the value in maths until until it's too late well, the good news is Pallavi it's never too late alright so you know uh, I'm just reading your chat here. Our teacher is very scary, she says. This is my last year of high school, and I'm going to college this year. And I still don't know English. Well, you do. You're getting better. I'm sure you are. Um, me too, sir. I don't like maths. You're great, Mr. Gary, sir. Well, <laughs> you know, it, it's like this. Uh, learning Pallavi is a lifelong journey and I think sometimes like uh, I say like this some some people will go to school and it's a waste of time okay uh, in the end for those people they won't like it they didn't get on with it it bored them maybe there were other troubles you know other students it, going to school isn't easy people think it is I'll tell you it's not it's definitely not easy if you're sitting in a classroom with 30 other rowdy people uh, and you've got the teacher has a limited time period and I think the education system 
is it doing too much with too little time so you know time is a great healer all right remember that and if you don't like something now or you're finding it difficult now my guess is if you want to try that subject or try that topic you know don't worry because there are always other opportunities uh, after you finish school and when when you're growing up as an adult I think you you know people are so confused especially about maths when you're doing maths as a subject and perhaps you're learning stuff you're thinking why on earth am I learning this but it depends on what career choices you want to make now my friend he was a G he was very good at maths ended up with a fantastic job in civil engineering so you know take it seriously but don't panic if you don't get it right first time there's all there are always other chances there are always other options and you're net internet savvy now as a person you are an internet savvy person and if you needed help with maths uh, there are plenty there are absolutely loads of options out there now where you can self-study study at your own pace study yourself no distractions you're at home or you're somewhere else you know everybody's situations different but I mean goodness me people study now on their handphones it, it, it we've never lived in times where study has been so accessible it's a phenomenal time to be leaving call you know going to college and leaving high school and stuff like that an excellent time for you and your English skills are improving Pallavi I'm uh, you just keep joining keep learning with me keep learning with others and you'll go far of that I'm absolutely sure well uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream <laughs> if you did and you enjoyed the little story time at the end by all means press that subscribe button Maybe you want to watch another video from me. There are uh, cards here with the recommendations that will help you with your pronunciation. Perhaps you want something else from my channel. Go into my channel pages and have a little look. Take care of yourselves. All the best. Have a great day ahead. And I will see you uh, in our next live stream. Oh, just before you go, if there's something specific you want me to look at or help you with um, leave a message in the comments or you can send me an email all right I'll just flash up my email address at the bottom there just a minute uh, yes or, or a tweet all right if you're on Twitter drop me a tweet details are in the channel pages all right so in the about section of my uh, channel okay I'll put them there take care of yourselves all the very very best good luck Pallavi with everything you've got going on I'm sure it's it's not easy for you but um, you know keep smiling keep trying and you'll get there in the end I'm sure all the best have a great day everyone bye bye